There has been a ton of controversy recently surrounding the NFL protests that started with Colin Kaepernick taking a knee in order to raise awareness about police violence and its targeting toward the African American community. Donald Trump has recently started tweeting and talking about how these people are disrespecting the flag and that they need to be fired, and it's become a major hot button issue because of this receiving enormous attention from all forms of media. And this warrants us taking a look at this protest and what it's doing and whether it's effective. So the first thing to note is that this protest is entirely harmless. There's no violence, there's no property damage, and that's something we see often in protests and we see huge amounts of criticism from the neo-Nazi protest that end up resulting in someone dying to other protests throughout our country that frequently lead to property damage in the place they're occurring. Unlike that form of protest, this one does nothing to harm anyone. Another thing with this protest is that the NFL is a primarily black league. It's around 70% African American. And by and large, these players have a fairly small time frame when they're in the public sphere of attention but not actively playing football. And so kneeling during the anthem is one of the few ways these players have to raise an issue without actually having to interfere with the game or anything else and allowing them to just play football. And as there are so many African Americans, it seems likely that many of them would be concerned with these issues that affect the African American community at large. The biggest problem with the NFL protest is that it's lost a lot of its meaning, and it's become this debate over whether it's disrespecting the flag or whether it's an example of free speech and dissent and patriotic protest. And a lot of the debate has shifted away from the original issue that Kaepernick was trying to raise when he first took a knee. And unfortunately, it may have lost too much of its original message to continue being effective. Another big problem is that, especially now that Trump is getting involved, it tends to just rile people up. And most of the people speaking are either far right or far left putting out this extreme point, being like either it's the greatest thing in the world, they absolutely have a right to do it and we need to address the issues they're raising, or it's super disrespectful and it's it's like the equivalent of burning the American flag and there's not even really an issue that they're protesting and all this stuff. So it tends to just rile up people on both sides rather than actually address any of the issues. Let us know what you think about the NFL protest in the comments below, and whether you think this is just disrespecting the flag, or a good way to raise attention to the issue.